Hi everyone! So I'm going to be making a leather bag from a kit which I got from Tandy Leather. Here's my kit. It comes with all the pre-cut pieces of leather, hardware, and I needed to buy some tools separately. If you want more details about the tools, then go to my blog post. Yes, I injured my thumb using this gouger tool. So the first step was finishing the edges of the leather panels. This step was optional, but I chose to go ahead with it because it gave a more professional appearance to the finished bag. So I started by shaving off the corners of the leather to round the edges. And then you dampen the edges and use this burnishing tool to smooth down the fibers of the leather and just give a more polished appearance to the edges. And finally, I finished off with some leather edge paint. And they're all my pieces ready to go. So the first step was adding the rivets that would attach some of the components together. The set came with the rivets and the rivet setting tool and I bought this mallet and these cutting tools. And so you have to snip off the end of the rivet and smooth it down with the tool and the mallet. The only problem was these cutters turned out to be way too small. And as you'll see, they didn't last me for too long. So I decided to just go ahead with the rivets partly set and go ahead with the stitching of the bag. So I'm just getting the washer of the rivet set in place. Now I'm adding one of the buckle straps. Okay, so now I'm going to start stitching the base of the bag. And the first step was using my gouger tool to gouge a channel around the edge which would then allow me to fold up the edges of this base. And it's time to start stitching. So I measured out the lengths of thread that I would need. And my kit instructs you to go around with a running stitch and then go back over the same seam, covering up all the gaps with a continuous line of stitching. So right now I'm stitching together the pieces of the base, which are with a sturdier type of leather. So these are the walls of the base. And there, that's what I have so far. A front panel, a back panel, and the walls for the base. And at this point I realized that I actually put on my buckle strap the wrong way around, but thankfully it still worked. So at this point, it's time to stitch the walls of the base to the actual base itself. That part that I folded up the edges on earlier. So again, I'm pre-measuring out my thread and starting to stitch around. Just a basic running stitch like that. And then you go back over it again to fill in all those gaps. Getting around these corners was pretty tricky, as you can see. And that's what it looks like when it's all stitched. Just filling in those gaps on the final sides. And there we go, a finished base for my bag. 
And now I just added some stitching along the top here, just for looks. So we're going to be adding these side panels on to the front panel at this point. These panels were made of a much softer, more flexible type of leather, and so they were easier to stitch than those base pieces were. Knotting it off at the end. And I just used my mallet to try to press that seam a bit more flat. And now I'm just stitching on the remaining panel of the bag to those side pieces. And there we go. It's starting to look like a bag now. So at this point, it's time for the exciting step of attaching the body of the bag to the base. This was the most difficult portion of the bag to stitch it in place. And the hardest part about this was that I was stitching into the inside of the bag and so I had to find a way to sort of reach through and grab the needle blindly. But I did eventually succeed at this step and that's what it looks like. It's really almost finished at this point. So I was seeing how it looked, very happy at this point. And it's time to add the top flap. The top flap was made of that sturdier type of leather. And so I just stitched it in place, first with a running stitch and then going back over to fill in those gaps again. and then doing this final seam right at the top here. And I did eventually get a set of very heavy duty nine inch cutting pliers and I did finish off those rivets. And here's the finished bag. So this was meant to be a diaper bag. So I'm trying it on, seeing how it is carrying my son, putting my baby supplies in there and it's very nice. So I'm back with my finished bag. Here's the front and side and the back. Okay, so what do I think of this bag? I really like it. I love the smell. I love that it's real leather. I really think it's gonna last me for years and years to come. It's very, very big. It's a lot bigger than I had expected. It was from a kit for an overnight bag. So it really has enough space to pack clothes for like a weekend trip. But in my case, I think I could use the extra space with all my kids and I love the, uh, the look of it. I love the old fashioned look. It took me probably about a week from start to finish, which is really, really good to get a bag like this finished in. And I really recommend this kit. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, leave your comments and questions below, and subscribe to my channel for more historically inspired sewing as well as some leather type videos. Bye!